I make a lot of low-budget videos for YouTube. I'm certainly not getting rich, and any money spent on my hobby comes out of the family budget. I recently decided to do a series of guitar videos and realized I needed a decent camera tripod. When I started my search for a studio tripod, I was overwhelmed by the number of tripods available. Most seem to have a mixture of good and bad reviews. I like the bad reviews because I want to know what went wrong for other people and then decide if that's something I can live with over the life of the product. The first thing that attracted me to the Ravelli APLT4 was the price. A quick internet search will show that you can easily spend a couple thousand dollars on a tripod. The Ravelli was priced at $26 on Amazon, which included the storage bag and free delivery. Most of the bad reviews on Amazon were centered around the plastic parts. Many reviewers claimed that the unit was damaged when they received it, and some reviewers complained that customer service from the manufacturer was spotty. I decided to order it since I felt the price point was worth the gamble, and so far I've had no issues. The unit is 24 inches in length and only 5 inches around when collapsed and stored in the storage bag. The storage bag's made of nylon with a water-resistant coating on the interior. While it doesn't affect the utility of the bag, the logo is embroidered and not silkscreened, which lends an air of substantiality. The quick release plate is standard and should fit most cameras. Extra quick release plates are available online for less than $10, so you can set up several cameras for use with the tripod. The quick release shoe tilts sideways up to 90 degrees. I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but if that's something you need, it is available. The head of the unit will tilt and pan pretty much as you would expect. I read a couple of reviews that said the tilt and pan functions were choppy and could not be executed smoothly. The unit that I received tilts and pans very smoothly, certainly as well as one would expect for the price point. The carry handle for the unit is sturdy and positioned so that you can use it to move the tripod without breaking it down between shots. The legs are aluminum with plastic cam lock fasteners. They adjust quickly and seem to be sturdy enough for the tripod, though I can see where a well-placed knot could break one of the plastic components. There's a hook at the bottom of the center of the stand that you can use to secure the stand with weight and prevent blowdowns. I recently shot a hollow point ammo video with the smaller tripod and lost both shots because the rig fell onto its side and shut the camera off at the moment I took the shot. While the hook is a good idea, it seems a little underpowered and not made very well. Still, I can use it to keep the tripod upright in high winds should I have the need to do so. I purchased a tripod a while back to use for travel videos. While that tripod is compact, it's not very stable. The APL-T4 is a very robust tripod and seems solid. I'll still use a smaller tripod because it'll fit in the saddlebags on my motorcycle, but for studio work and some remote stuff, I'll be using the Ravelli APL-T4. So, the bottom line, would I recommend this tripod? I would answer a qualified yes. However, prospective buyers should understand that this is a tripod for hobbyists and will perform adequately in that role for a reasonable amount of time. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to replace it after a couple of years of moderate to heavy use. Otherwise, I believe the features versus the cost for the unit makes it a good investment.